What is going on, Governor? It's Jess Cool here, and today we're going to rock the Card King, not once, but twice. That's right, we're going to play the Card King on our main, picking up a cool, I don't know, 30-plus Saladin sculptures. Then we're going to jump over to our mini and try to collect some of these commanders because I realized... Gosh, if I ever do need to power up that mini to be a powerhouse account, I'd better pick up some of these commanders. If you like Rise of Kingdoms videos where we play the latest events, you should like and subscribe. We've got a guide for literally every single one of them, and we are a sponsored creator with Rise of Kingdoms. My friends, if you wanted to see what it looks like to spend like 30,000 plus gems in Card King, well... <laughs> the fun begins now. We are going to pick Saladin. The nature of this event is that you've got three days to burn your 10 attempts in the event. And it costs you an attempt if you want to switch which commander you're going to go and get. Now, in general, uh, this depends a lot on which commander you're working on and what kingdom you're in. Because each kingdom is going to have a different set of commanders, potentially. What I'll call attention to is... Previous advice I've given about legendary commanders. I would not recommend Charles Martel from Card King because you can get him potentially from the daily special chests if you've expertise Sao Tzu. You can also get him from gold keys. The same is true of El Cid. I would not recommend him for those reasons. I really like picking up Richard or Yi Song Ye because you may be in a kingdom where if you didn't pick them up before, they're not available. And also, they don't generally show up other places. So this is pretty good uh, if you get, you know... Uh, sculptures from Gold Keys, you're never going to get Yi Song Ye or Richard I, so you don't have to worry about wasted sculptures. That's a great commander to work on. Um, I really like Saladin as well, if you aren't working on Richard or Yi Song Ye. And I'll have a card up in the top to, uh, sort of describing which of those two commanders you should work on if you're considering one or the other. I'm working on Saladin right now because I have all the other ones expertised, and I actually was debating using my Universal Commander Sculptures to expertise Saladin, and I don't think I'm going to um, because unless they change up this lineup for Card King, which it doesn't seem like they will, then I'm going to slow roll Saladin in the most efficient way possible, and that is not by using Universals. It's just by playing Card King, and I can go use my Universals on Tamaris or Edward or any of the other commanders that I really haven't otherwise invested in. So let's fire it up with our good friend Saladin, baby. We've got him at 5511, which is really great. So anything we do here is just going to be progress toward that expertise skill. Now, the way that this game works is that when you flip a card, your first one's free, and your second one also looks like it's free here. Let's flip that over. Okay. Now, any new card we flip is 300 gems. So when I flip that over, I've got the speed ups. Boom, we matched it. That was 600 gems total. That's not great value, but the legendary commander sculptures generally are. And getting these legendary commander sculptures is generally better value than buying them from the VIP shop. Here, I mean, I'm paying, what, 600 gems for a universal commander sculpture? That's pretty gosh darn good. Um, oh, that one I'd already flipped. I knew that. But there, boom, <laughs> much better. Much better. So we're going to match all these up. Theoretically, you can do this in a way that, like, you, like, maybe don't spend your gems at the end. We'll see if we can create that situation. And, you know, every time you fire this up, you can preview the event before you play it in order to see, hey, is there a good haul here or not? Is this a thing worth my doing or not? There's always going to be, I think, three... Saladin sculptures, uh, a two spot and a one spot. And, you know, if there are any other universal legendary commander sculptures in there or other legendary commander sculptures, you're in really, really good shape. So we're going to cruise through this. Oh boy. We're, we're not getting a lot of matches. There's our first match. Excellent. Excellent. We got a one. Ooh, wood. Oh boy. This is awkward. Match. Nailed it. I knew that was there. I totally remember that was there. It's funny. I do this after like a really long day of work. And so like, yeah, my ability to match is <laughs> mental power. It's all drained. It's all drained. Oh, gosh. There we go. There we go, fam. And the funny thing is like, look, it doesn't cost you any extra sculptures after you've done like the initial reveal of the cards. So, you know, we just... We just smash the button and have a grand old time. So it's three, it looks like it's about 3,000 gems a pop for every one of these. I think it's a little less than that, actually. 
I think it's a little less than that because your first flip costs zero and your second flip costs zero. It's all the subsequent flips that cost gems and, you know, you could like, if you're trying to be value oriented, just like pop the first flip and see if you get something. And I don't know. I don't, I don't love that strategy. Um, ooh, one shot that, that corn, one shot that corn. We got a double, ooh, two Saladin. Pretty sure I saw, oh boy, nailed it. Nailed it. Didn't we? This is an eight hour speed up. That's right. That's right. Now we can match the the stone and the double star. We can match. And what do we have here? Eight hour speed up's really good. And the two saladins is really good. We'll match that up. Boom. And we'll match that up, taking this all the way to completion. I actually don't think I have enough gems to go all the way through this event. I might have to pop some gems to make this dream a reality. We're going to hit reset and do this again. Bada bim, bada boom. Looks like yeah, this one's pretty decent. Decent enough. I mean, I'm gonna play them all. We're gonna we're gonna get every sculpture of value we can out of this event. Again, because the total of goodies that you get here is just way better than going to buy this stuff in the VIP shop. It's a much better situation. There's the double star and the double salad in. So theoretically, like I could end here and call it a day. I got three legendary commander sculptures. I mean, if I didn't really want the double stars, I might just call it here. What do we have here? See, that's a double star. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, and uh, gosh, is it worth 600 gems for two and a half million food? I feel like I've done this math before and the answer was no. But let's find out if that's actually the case. Two and a half million food. So, um, actually, that's not worth the gems. Look at that. We did it. If it was only 300 gems, it would be worth it. But because I can get 1.5 million food for 460 gems, I actually will go in, and I'm going to reset this because it's not worth the 600 gems to me. So, cool. wait, it's not food. It's gold. Oh, I kind of need gold. Mm, I kind of need gold. Should I do that? Hold on. Let's let's look again. It was eight hundred thousand gold for six hundred gems. Um, even that that is like slightly better value than buying it here by like the teeniest amount. Um, I think I'm just gonna skip it because it was four of them. Yeah, I'm gonna skip it. I'm not buying it from the VIP shop. I wouldn't do it here. So look at that. We saved ourselves 600 gems. Let's hit reset. Confirm. All right. Here we go. Continuing on. We got the one sculpture. Ooh, a matchup. Nice. And two sculptures. Nothing. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's interesting. This one is five times... Oh, yeah. Look at that. The amount of resources sometimes swaps around. That's interesting. I was so distracted by that. I did not pay attention at all to where things were actually located. Even the number of resources changed around. So 600 gems would have been worth it for a million gold because that's definitely better rate than if I was getting them somewhere else. This is the part that's sort of embarrassing. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Nailed it. And nailed it. And nailed it. Okay, we got there, fam. Match all that stuff up. Boom. You've earned all the prizes from this duel. And what a duel it was. Please reset or replace the duel. Well, I'll reset. Here we go. Cruising right along. All right. What do we have in here, by the way? Nah, that's about average rate. About average rate. All right. Stone. Double. Experience. Single. Okay, well, experience we can match up. Solid. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I saw this somewhere already. Not there. Gold. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, double. Ooh, we saw a double. That was a single. Double. Yeah. And the single? Nope. Hmm, stone. All right. 
There we go. There we go. And cruising right along, baby. All right, we'll hit reset. Cue this right up. And we're cruising right along. Ooh, gold key. What? This is very different. All right, well, three sculptures and a gold key. Gold key's kind of interesting. How do I feel about gold keys? Eh, not, not amazing these days. Not <laughs> particularly amazing these days. Um, gold key. Nailed it. Okay. Well, we've matched up our gold key, which seems fine. Stone. Okay, we saw that before. Nice. Double Saladin. And speed ups. Uh, food. Do we see food? We totally did. There's the food. There's the FUD. There's the double Saladin. We already paid the gems for that, so we'll just take it. There we go. We can reset to the duel again. We are going to run out of gems. Uh, let's fix that problem. All right, we popped some of the gems in our inventory, and we're back at it. Uh, it does look like we might need to spend some more money, get a bunch of gems again. Ooh, three stars. This is actually a pretty decent... This is a pretty decent reset that we got here. This is a pretty decent reset. I was so excited about three stars, I almost forgot that I got three stars. Woo! Nice, 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 nice. Eight-hour speed-up's also really, really great. Match up that Sally Sculpt. Gold key, too. We are living the dream. We're living the dream. Here we go. Double. Nailed it. Nailed it. And continuing to match on. Ah, gold key. All right. Well, there's the eight-hour speed-up match. There's the gold key match. And we can reset going on to the next round. Here we go. Looking, oh, we got experience tomes in here. Sweet. I, I like, kind of need experience. I kind of don't. We got gold. We got stone. There's the experience. That's right. There's the stone match. And Saladin. Cool. Experience. Match that up. Feels good. Double Sally and eight hour speed ups. Double Sally will match that up real clean. And uh, match the speed ups. Sweet. Gold. Nailed it. And salad and sculpture. Glorious. We can reset this sucker one last time and get a smidge more value. We will do that. This has, uh, it's a, you know, about average rate. About average rate. I mean, most of them, are, you know, they're, they're about average. We got gold experience. Let's match up that gold. Nailed it. Double Saladin, eight hours. Single Saladin, take that matchup. And stone, ah, that was experience. Well, we'll match that up. I'm pretty sure I saw stone already. No, that's an eight-hour speed up. I guess I didn't, but we'll match that up. And match up the stone. And match up the double Saladin. Nailed it. So um, overall, you know, this is going to cost you a non-trivial amount of gems to go and do. Um. It's, what, 2,600 gems per attempt, which is honestly like an insanely good rate on Legendary Commander Sculptures. It is an insanely good rate on Legendary Commander Sculptures. Um, this is a much better way than buying from the VIP shop. So truly, those VIP shop purchases down below here are like your last ditch attempt to get a bunch of legendary commander sculptures if you really are in a hurry to get those sculptures. So at this point, you can see our Saladin. We've got 30 sculptures. That's what I expected as a result of that event. Um, and we're well on our way here. I've got a lot of these sculptures to use. Very tempting. But I'm not going to put them on Saladin. I honestly, like, I don't know who it's going to be yet. I don't know who it's going to be yet. It, it depends on... Like, what new commanders are coming, too? We may just hang on to them for a little bit. In my perfect world, it's Wu Zetian. But let's switch over now. And let's pull up our other account. We'll go to Chiskul Mini. And I want to stock this account with some legendary commanders so that if I ever go ham, I can go and do that. This is a lot of gems to put into an account that, like, maybe I'll use the commander or maybe not. Um, I recognize that. What I'll say is that um, as a content creator, that 
likelihood is a lot higher than it would be otherwise. So getting some of these commanders is not the worst idea, particularly Richard and Yi Song Ye. So if we look at the commanders that we have here, we do not have Richard. We do not have Yi Song Ye, and I would like those to be available on this account should I ever decide to do something with it. I have one Yi Song Ye, so I need nine. So he seems like a perfect place to start. Uh, and then I could do Richard the First, and then I could potentially go and work on Saladin. All of that seems really, really good. So let's go in and fire that up. When you switch which commander you're working on, you lose some attempts. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to finish off Saladin, but we can at least start on Richard. And we said, let's see, no, no, no. It was Yi Song Ye, we needed nine, right? Yi Song Ye. Yeah, we get the nine of Yi Song Ye. We'll do three attempts on Yi Song Ye, um, four attempts on Richard. And then we'll reset and do the rest on salad. And however many that will be, it's not going to be a lot. So here we go. Um, we'll start with Yisong Ye. We need to do this three times. We're going to hit shuffle. Shuffle it up, baby. This, by the way, we got these gems over time when we were gemming out kingdom buffs. We were using a 30-day gem supply. And it just accumulated and accumulated and accumulated. And we had a lot of these that like, we were sharing king responsibilities. And anyways, um, ended up having way more gems than we needed which is really a high-quality problem to have. Start to match up these Yi Song Ye's, match up the experience, which is really great. Um, this is an average rate set that we have here. The double Yi Song Ye is really cool. Match up the wood. Gold, we can match up. And double Yi Song Ye, nailed it. What do we have left? Oh, the eight-hour speed up. Um, interestingly... Interestingly, 300 gems for an 8-hour speed-up is a bad deal, right? One 8-hour speed-up. Ooh, we could do some more research. I started doing research on this account because I was like, you know, I may as well just, like, queue up research and build stuff just in case this becomes an account I actually play. Just in case this becomes an account I actually play. Um, also, the IP12 feel pretty good about that. Um, let's look at the VIP shop. Here it is. I was having some trouble finding it. Well, I definitely need to go get these. And if I'm going to potentially play the account, i got to go get those. And I should just claim these. However, an 8-hour speed up is 240 gems. So I'm going to close this one out. This is all she wrote. We do not need to spend the 300 gems here. Look at that. Get finding incremental value along the way. Let's hit reset. Confirm. We got our three Isonye sculptures, which is really great. Ooh, this is a really good set. We got an extra legendary commander sculpture. Nice. That's really solid. That's really solid. Boom. One shot the Isonye matchup there. Experience tomes. Nailed it. Looking for a uh, eight hour speed up kind of sucks is what it is. We found the double and we matched it. Now theoretically, we could just walk away from this, but there is a universal commander sculpture hiding in here somewhere. So let's try to find that. <gasps> we nailed it. Now, boom. Ooh. So, is the 8-hour speed up worth it? No. Is the food worth it? No. No. 2 million food. Well, Hmm. 2 million food for 300 gems is actually value. For 600 gems, it would not be. 2 million food. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, this is awkward. All right, hold on. Here we go. Are we going to get it? Ugh, awkward. All right, whatever. Do I feel bad about an 8 hour speed up? No, I don't feel bad. I got so much value in that setup, it was fine. Okay, one more reset here, and then we're going to back out, and we're going to lose a chance, I think, when we do that. I think we lose a chance when we do that. Is this a good set? That's decent. A decent set. Let's see. Where are you hiding gold? There you are. I knew I'd already seen it. I knew I'd already seen it. And I knew I'd already seen you too. Honestly, like talking to a camera and doing this at the same time while talking about something else entirely is very tricky. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Like all the different attempts really blur together very quickly. 
Oh my gosh, I'm literally the worst at this game. Okay. <laughs> We matched it up. What's the last thing we need here? Wood. Yeah, that's worth 300 gems. We'll match it up. Boom. Excellent. Okay. Now, we can close out of this. We can look at our commanders. You see, we can summon Yi Song Ye. We're not going to because we're going to wait. If we do to play the account, we're going to actually spend the money and buy the Writer of History bundle. So we're just going to leave them in that summon state. And we're going to back out of this. We're now going to go for Richard. I'm pretty sure that I lo you lose an attempt when you switch. Do you not? Do you not lose an attempt when you switch? You can give up your current match to reset its progress, but it will lose one chance. Ah, you can return to the events page and choose a different commander to use for a match, but it will cost one chance. So let's see here. If I hit Richard, confirm... Did it cost a chance, or did it just close out the chance I had going? Nah, either way. Doesn't change what I'm doing here, which is that we're going to do this four times to get our Richard on. <laughs> to unlock Richard? Maybe I should just say it like that. To unlock Richard. That's what we're doing. Ooh, double. Nice. I'm pretty sure I saw... I'm pretty sure, there we go, match the stars, match the double, and match the wood. All right, there we go. We'll hit reset, fire this up, boom. Hey, one shot, nailed it, is it a good set? Uh, uh, ooh, see 12 hours of speed up's pretty good for 300 gems. That's, that's an amount of speed ups I can support. Nailed it. Double. Ooh. Speed up matchup. Nailed it. Okay. There was the double. And do we continue with this set? We have the experience tomes. Three 50,000 experience tomes. That's an interesting question. What is that worth to me? What is that worth to me? 10,000 experience tomes is 40 gems. So 50,000 in experience tomes would be uh, 200 gems. So uh, there's three of those. So that's like 600 gems of value. 600 gems I feel pretty good about. Um, but I could just get it there and like, are these speed ups worth it to me? I don't think so. Eight hours of speed ups are definitely not worth 300 gems. We're going to hit reset, y'all. Wow. There's no stars, right? We're just going to hit reset on this one. Okay. Reset is what it is. Cruising right along. Is this a good set, by the way? Ooh, triple star. Yeah, it's a good set. That's a good set. And look at that. Four. Four of the 50,000 experience tomes is really good. There we go. Knew I just saw that. Match that up. And I literally just tried that one. <laughs> I'm telling you, you try and record at the same time as you play card king and you will be baffled how many things that are like obvious you end up missing or maybe i'm just a noob three stars now is what we're hunting for is that worth 300 gems oh yeah is it worth 600 gems oh yeah definitely that is it worth 600 gems actually i take that back i take that back you could do the math on it it's like 2,500 gems for a bundle of Starlight Sculptures. Uh, I'll take the three stars for now. Um, mathematically, though, is it correct? If I went over here instead... Oh, it's only 2,000 gems. Hmm. Yeah, I think actually that was probably... The stars are not even worth the gems in that. As weird as that sounds, the stars were not, it was not worth the 600 gems for three stars. Uh, no, it was worth. I take it, I take it all back. I can't do math. It's worth it for three stars, but it, it's marginal if it's worth it for two, the double star. A double star you could pass on and I'd feel pretty okay about that. Anyways, let's hit reset. We'll do this again. Here we go. Hunting for apparently resources is the thing we got a richard let's match that up amazing double richard match that up 
Stupendous. We got food. Nailed it. And stone. Pretty sure we saw stone. There it was. Cool. What's remaining? The eight hour speed up. Is that worth 300 gems? No. Oh, see, now we're putting me to the test. Is the da two dazzling starlights worth 300 gems? Yes. I think so. 300 gems, I'd say yes. Nice. The eight hour speed up, however, we can definitely skip. And we're on our way to activating Richard. In fact, we can activate him. So now. We're going to ditch yet another attempt, and I know this is not the most amazing way to maximize the number of sculptures you get. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to make available to this account the maximum number of commanders in case we decide to actually play it seriously. So we're going to go select Saladin, hit confirm, and then hit shuffle. Yeah, you don't lose an attempt. You only lose the active attempt. Because we still have the 12 sculptures. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think we'll get enough to actually rock Saladin. Oh, but that's really good. Four legendary commander sculptures in here in total. That's an amazing set that I feel really quite good about. Match the Saladins. We got a double Saladin lined up here. Eight hour speed ups. There's the universal. Match the double. Nailed it. Then we can go forward. Match the single. Nailed it. Now we can go in. And match the experience. And whoa, I pushed the button before I even thought about it. That was not worth 300 gems. I just got on a roll. All right, don't judge. I got on a roll. See, I can actually match stuff if I narrate what I'm doing. Because it's hard to mental focus and entertain. Okay, let's just hit reset. Enough excuses, just cool. Enough excuses out of you. All right, what do we got here? Is this a good set? Oh, geez. Um, eh, not particularly. Not particularly, and we already landed on a bunch of the landmines in this set, so we'll probably end up just finishing it out, depending on how much of the other stuff we reveal and how quickly we get to the serious value. I mean, I don't know. I think we've already revealed most of the stuff we would have wanted to skip, so that's fine. Um, remaining, we have a volume of speedups we'd want to get and a volume of experience that is worth, given that it's only 300 gems to complete. There we go, and there we go. Very good. We hit reset one more time. And we're well on our way to Saladin now. Um, P.S. Was this set good? Yes! Woo! Winning the lottery again! Wow, okay. Okay, maybe this is a sign that I should play yet another account? I don't know. I, I don't plan to. But I realized, like, gosh, this is a VIP 12 account because it sat in Legion for a very long time. I mean, if I was going to go to a kingdom and, like, sort of, like, play a lot but not fully restart, this would be a really good account to do it on. Yeah, the speed-ups are worth. There we go. 300 gems for those speed-ups. We nailed it. And we didn't unlock this commander, but we are one sculpture away, which I feel pretty good about. That'll be easy-ish to get in a future situation. I really should have unlocked Edward in the last wheel. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I should have unlocked Khan at some point in Wheels, along with Alex. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just unlocked him. That would have been totally doable. But whatever. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video where we really rocked a lot of Card King. We also so showed a way to strategically ensure that, like, hey, we can unlock all the commanders we need to unlock. This happens to be a farm account that, like, might get converted at some point into more of a battling account. I mean, it's got... It's got a really pretty reasonable number of troops, right? Like, better than starting over. <laughs> better than starting over in terms of having an account that I could migrate somewhere. So, all in all, I uh, feel really good about this. We got uh, a total of 60 legendary commander sculptures, at least, maybe 65 if you count, count the universals, across both accounts. Um, if you enjoyed this video... You should like and subscribe. We're going to play lots of events as they come out, including the Halloween events, which are just around the corner. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, show the love with the like and the subscription. Until next time, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.